Hello guys, this is Mr. Erosion, trying to make this tutorial a little more professional than the other ones. Now, today I'm going to be show you how to do this. And yeah, more specifically I'm going to show you how to get the a bunch of the words written and then have like an image kind of appear out of it with text and with yeah, with different colors and stuff. So also, I'd like to say that if you didn't already know this, Acres HD, or however you want to pronounce it, got hacked, like, last night. It's not really a shout-out to him, because I know it won't do anything. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I found that pretty funny, what the video he uploaded, the hacker uploaded. But, yeah, so, let's so get right into it. Just make a file a new image with whatever dimensions you want doesn't really matter and then as usual just double click on your background layer to make it editable editable uh, editable editable shit damn it okay so um also just make a little gradient using the gradient tool just make a gradient with like a dark gray to like a complete black and then you're just going to make a radial gradient like that so yeah this tutorial is gonna be pretty easy guys um then just select your text layer I also one thing I haven't been act I haven't been inactive for the past nine days I just I uploaded mini a mini Taj kind of thing like a couple days ago I don't know you might not have seen it but yeah apparently it was an uncopyright song but then when I uploaded it I got a notification saying that there was copyright on the video and that it was blocked in the US so I took it down just in case you know I don't want to risk getting a strike and there was really no point because I have a lot of American friends yeah so they couldn't see it um so yeah I wasn't really inactive and I'm just trying to stay active now after a while so yeah so just create a little text thing and type in whatever you want I'm just gonna type in graphics if I could see the text, that would be better. I just make it white for now, so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know why I can't see that. That is a glitch. Oh, here we go. Okay. I don't know why it's not white. White. Okay. So I'm just gonna write graphics here and it doesn't matter what font you use whatever you want it's really up to you and you're just gonna have this you can click space at the end then on your keyboard control a control C the control V and just keep clicking control V and then after that just once you have like a little line going just click control a control C and then click enter, then control V, then enter, control V, enter, control V, and just keep doing that. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, just keep doing that. It should go faster. Um, yeah, just like it should it's gonna lag a lot cuz lots of different text going on but once you rasterize it it'll stop lagging um it's really now it's really up to you here as well if you wanna have the letters get cut off if you wanna like center them or whatever I'm just gonna leave it like this for now it's not really that bad so yeah um so for the text you're just gonna select it all by hitting control a and doing a kind of a darkish gray to a point where you can kind of see it like maybe a little darker from this right there eh, a little higher like that okay so once you have that just rasterize your text layer by going to right clicking on that and clicking rasterize type so as you can see there's no more lag and also 
once you find an image to use, it'd be better if you use different text or a logo. So for this, I'm going to bring my logo as a 2D format of it so it doesn't mess up with any 3D stuff. And you're just going to position it however you want. I'm just going to give a little tilt like so. And then once you have that, you just take the magic wand tool and select kind of like the background area like that and the middle. Make sure you got the middle there if you have a middle. So then on the layer that you have all the text in the background, just right click on it, duplicate layer, click OK. And then you're going to make sure you have the duplicated one on it and still have all this selected here. And just click delete. That might not look like anything happened, but if I take off my logo, it's nothing doesn't look it doesn't look like anything happened either. But then you're gonna right click on the duplicated one that you cut out your logo from, go to blending options, go to color overlay, and already you can see that your logo is now kind of imprinted in the writing with different colors. So you can just mess around with the colors. I'm just going to go for a blue or not like that. That looks nice. And yeah, so that's how you do the text color thing. I don't know how to say it, but also what you can do is just take out your pen tool and just do kind of like a mask a mask, but yeah, like a, just select around it. Could use the rounded, the rounded uh, square in the objects tool. But yeah, I'll just use this. So yeah, then make a new a new layer, and then right click make selection and then put your feather radius around 25 whatever floats your boat <laughs> and just go to your brush tool or your paint bucket tool and then make sure you have a black color and just oh I'm sorry just go to select inverse make sure you do that so yeah so then you just take your black and go around on the outside like this so it might look really bad, so all you do is just lower the opacity and it kind of gives it like more depth and kind of kind of gives it like a 3D illusion. But yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I'm not inactive. I will be getting a good computer this this Christmas and I mean really good. So I'll be doing lots more of this stuff without the hassle of waiting for renders and all that stuff. So yep. Thanks for watching guys, hope this tutorial helped out, and yeah, peace.